guys up there that are probably going to be, be called up on this season some. How do you, yeah. how do you feel about the, the guys behind DSG and Chance? Yeah, I think they've all improved. And uh, technique-wise, I, I think their knowledge of what the offense is trying to do to them. Um, the defense is, you know, they've thrown a lot at those guys as well. And, and being back there and, you know, one of the things that I think iron sharpens iron and you've got um, a quarterback like Brett that's able to um, help those guys get better. They're, they're getting him better. Um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, Evan Tyler. Evan Tyler's certainly been, been a guy that stepped up. Cam Hartsfield. Uh, I've really been impressed with Cam Hartsfield. Um, he's made plays. And you know, that's one of the things that, that you want to see out there is just a guy like that that consistently does it. Some some young faces. I don't know if you know at this point you said it's still early, but if some if some of those freshmen are you going to play some of them at some spots? Have any really kind of stood out to you? Um, not yet. They, they've they've done good things, but when you're really looking at it, uh, when you get into a game, is this going to be a productive player right away? Not yet. And. Luckily, we're not playing right now. You know, I, I think after tonight, I think one of the things, uh, we've had a few practices where we've been live, but after tonight, uh, there'll be a lot of guys that will go to bed tonight with their eyes wide open thinking about, okay, this is different. Um, practice is, and practice when we scrimmage and, and we crank it up, it's different. And we'll find out in these next two practices the mentality. They're either going to attack it and embrace that, or they're gonna they're gonna pull back and they're gonna separate themselves and kind of get back in the back of the lines and go. I don't know about this next scrimmage I'm gonna be in because it's only gonna get even more intense. You got new faces on the defensive line. Coach Caldwell said this is like a new cast of Saturday Night Live, basically. <laughs> what are some of the new players on the defensive line that impressed you? <laughs> I don't know about the Saturday Night Live. I've seen Saturday Night Live. Um, certainly not that. Um, Chase Atada. Um, Coyote, as those have been two guys that have stood out. Jabari, Watson, um, you know, to name a few. And those guys have probably gotten in and, and gotten a few pops um, with, with some of the backup groups and not just the threes. Uh, but that entire, we, we feel like that entire group is going to be pretty good. And, you know, once they have some time, to keep developing. Skill positions you can throw out there a little bit more. You start talking about the trenches and, and, and putting young guys in there, there's a strength component um, that just is a major factor. And, and really, that durability, and you just don't know that. Um, probably no more tonight, we, we go back and watch the scrimmage and then see you know, what we look like tomorrow with guys, little bumps and bruises and different things like that. How do they respond? Because that's gonna be the nature of that position week in and week out. I know that you said, uh, a lot of coaches have talked about there, there's going to be some freshmen that make an impact on this team. Uh, and after praising them, a lot of you guys also said that we need to see them in pads. And now that you have, I mean, have, yeah. have you been able to evaluate them just a little bit further now that you have seen them in contact? Yeah, we will tonight. Yeah, I haven't seen the tape yet, but certainly that'll be a part of it. Um, I thought just overall, there was some good physical plays out there. and. You're looking for a guy that, as a true freshman, can go out there and play against a fifth-year senior. And, and fifth-year seniors are just different. They're hardened up. They got a little bit better understanding of what's going on, and they don't get rattled as easy. So certainly saw some freshman moments tonight as well. And that's what I'm saying is we'll find out in the next two days who's going to turn it up and who's going to turn it down. And those ones that turn it up, there'll be guys that can help us because we do feel like we have quality players and depth, but they've, they've also got to be able to go out there and, and play at that level that everybody's playing at. Any John. concern at this point or things that you haven't seen that you want to see in eight days? A lot of concerns, and I don't mean that. We just we haven't got everything in. So um, we, we haven't had a, another mental load that we got to put on these guys. We haven't had certain drills that we've done consistently enough where we're just blocking, tackling, and doing things the way we want to do it. We have to drill these things to where they're not thinking about it on game day. So um, we, we have a lot of work to get done. It was good to see these guys get out there and pop it up a little bit tonight, but um, you know, we're, we're not, I don't think anybody walked away from tonight like, all right, we're polished, let's just get healthy. We, we got to go out there and, and get better. Jonathan Moxie, how have you liked his game in Falcon? It's been good. Uh, I think that corner, I'll, let me say this about the corner position. I think that's been competitive. competitive. Um, DeAndre Pierce, Reed Harrison, Ducros, 
uh, Avery Williams. Uh, there's been some competition at that position. Ray Ford, I think, has played very well uh, throughout camp so far. Tyler Horton continues to keep developing. So uh, along with Moxie, uh, that group has been uh, very competitive. And Coach Ambrose, I think, has brought an edge out there at practice um, with those guys and the mentality. And, and you start to see things where when there are turnovers, uh, those guys are, are trying to make something happen. Um, so certainly been, been pleased with, with the group's effort. Let me say that um, consistency wise, uh, not yet. Is there, you know, are you going into the season just thinking, you know, you're going to play the two quarterbacks? I mean, if you had to play a third, who would it be at this point? Is no. that even something you've even considered? We considered it, don't know. Mm -hmm. have no idea uh, at this point who that is yet. And uh, don't know, you know, probably at the end of camp, we're going to have to make a decision. You know, we'll have a plan that way. But uh, when we start getting, more reps with our, our first and second string guys. These other guys will keep getting them, and then we'll cut back and get into some, some more scout type stuff, and then we'll see a little bit of where that third guy is. And he's certainly not going to have the amount of what a starter would have or the backup would have, and what can he handle. That'll determine who it is. You, you mentioned the receivers a little bit, and that group, I mean, you got a lot of guys. It seems like kind of burgeoning a little bit, but there's, but there's a lot of bodies too. How has that kind of shook out? And what's the mentality like for those guys you know, trying to step up this year? Been competitive. I think of Thomas Spurbeck and Chaz Anderson, guys that have played. Um, and, and you've got some new faces in that group. Those guys have done a good job of, of not being seniors in a way. They've been mentors to these guys. They've coached them up. I think they've been really good examples to what the standard is at that position. And those guys have played. Uh, the young guys are not consistent. They're just not like the, the, the guys that have been here for a while. When they know what they're doing, they can go make plays, and they do look good at that. It's just that's where we have to get them to where what, what can they do, what can we get them from not thinking about, and just going out there and executing. Because when they do that, uh, they've been pretty good. With that said, you talked about the young guys. How much has the leadership role been bestowed upon Rippon and McNichols? Because they're still young guys out on the field. But... Well, I think it's been bestowed upon um, a lot of guys on this team. I don't think it's those two in particular. I really don't. Um, I can name several on, on, in every phase, including special teams. So uh, I don't think it's on any one of those. It's been on everybody. What is the standard of our team? really in the example of it because you pop on film and you watch a Sam McCaskill and you're a wide receiver and we talk about that in team meetings there's a standard apply it to your position uh, so I think everybody um, from a leadership standpoint some of the older guys some of our appointed guys that are on leadership group um, they've made a point of making sure that, that we have a standard each and every day and I've really been happy with their approach to that. How much do you find out about your team maybe over the next week? Because I mean, the first week probably everybody's just kind of excited to be back and playing football, but right. you kind of get to grind time of fall camp before you get yeah. preparation for the game. Yeah, who loves it? Who loves it? Because it really that's what it comes down to. Um, you love it, you're out there every day. You might be sore, you might be tired, but you show up every day. And you know that's a key ingredient for us as well, uh, because those guys are going to be the ones that are going to be out there playing. and. Things don't always go well. How do you respond? That mentality, because um, right now we're just we're getting hardened up for the season is what we're doing, and, and we'll get fresh at some point. But right now, 11 on 11 and playing ball is the best thing we can be doing. So uh, these guys that show up and, and show the discipline to, to take notes in meetings, to pay attention in meetings, to show it, to, to go out there and apply it to the field. That's where you find out who those guys really are for you this season. You saw Rip, come, or Rip came in a uh, press conference last week and he kind of said a couple of things that he was work, wanting to work on. Him. Uh, he talked about the deep ball, maybe pocket awareness and stuff like that. Have you seen him take a step forward in terms of that so far? Yeah, yeah, and there's more than two uh, that he's got to keep working on. So he's made that a point of emphasis, and, and he's certainly done that, but you know, that on top of you know the other pile of things that, that we want to – help him improve on and keep working. So those are two things that we that stood out from spring as well. And we certainly had a chance to work, and that hasn't been the only thing. We, we've had a lot of different variety of things that uh, we've thrown at him, and he's going to get even more this next week.